guys, it's Miss Angie from Power and Grace, and today we're going to be working on a side handstand against an object. Um, before we start, just make sure that you're in a safe environment and you're not going to get hurt. If you can't find a safe place to do this, that's okay. Just work on other things and keep continuing to grow and improve in these crazy times. Thanks. So to start out, we're actually going to be working on our cartwheels. Um, you can use other videos for that part, but we're not going to be doing that in this video. We're mostly just going to be working on stopping on that object. So make sure that you have your cartwheel before you do this and make sure that you have it where you can stay in line and not pike your hips or arch too much. You also want to make sure before you attempt this that you have a really good handstand. That includes the lever to T and mostly just working on um, having that correct body shape. Okay, now we're gonna go do the fun stuff. We're gonna go outside and actually try it. So before we start, I just wanna make sure that you guys have um, something behind whatever you're like doing your handstand. Like it's very sturdy and you're like safe. Um, so make sure that you start, that you go, you start with a cartwheel and then you stop at the top and squeeze your legs together and you're in a handstand, yeah? So lunge, cartwheel up. And handstand down. I'm gonna do this a couple times just like you guys should to ensure that you guys are successful. Okay, now that I feel like I did a good job, I am going to work focus on going on just one like plank of wood so it's mimicking like I'm on the beam because this is a skill that's commonly done on the beam. And every time I'm going to focus on squeezing my legs together and pointing my toes and engaging the quad muscle so then you have really straight legs. Alright guys, one last time. My name is Miss Angie. I'm from Power and Grace. Please continue to grow and get better and stay safe and bye. We miss you all.